Receive Jesus tonight. The only way, the truth, and the life. Jesus cares about your soul. I give you the key to the true meaning of life, and that is Jesus Christ. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Flee from your sin. I want to tell you today that Jesus is real. Do you believe in Jesus, bro? Of course I do. So yeah, we just made it to one of the most dangerous city. Man, when I tell you there's a lot of stuff over here, you really need the Spirit of God. There's something that you receive when the Spirit of God enters you. He comes with confidence, with boldness to preach God's word. So yeah, man, come along with us. We're praying that souls will be saved, demons will come out, people will be healed in Jesus' mighty name. God bless everybody. I just want to tell you about Jesus. Jesus is the only way. And without Jesus, there is no salvation. I want to bring y'all great news that there is still hope for anyone that is willing to believe in Jesus. I want to tell you today that Jesus is real. Do you believe in Jesus, bro? Of course I do. God bless you, bro. God bless you too, man. Hey, do, hey, I have a question for you, bro. What's the problem? What's if, the question? If, if you if you were to die today, yeah. do you think you go to heaven or hell? I think I go to hell. Why you say that, bro? I mean, I think I go to heaven because I be sinning, man. I be sinning for oh, real. You say you think you go to hell because you be sinning? I be sinning. And and it doesn't this scare you because it does scare me you know, at, at all times. It scares me. You know, it does. There's, there's a lot of people that end up dying. Seven years old, 10, 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, and it's sad, bro. It's sad. You know, and, and so I want to ask you a question. What's the question? If you know that sin will lead you to hell, why do you continue in it, bro? That's a real question. You know, it pains I, I me. Can't, I can't answer that. That's a real question. I can't answer that. I can't answer that, bro. You know, you know, bro, you know God can help you, bro. He loves you so can. much. I know he do. He loves you a lot, bro. I know he do. Hey, bro. You have... Hey, 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 you know, car, man. hey, bro, you know, you know the reason why you stopped here? Why did I stop right here? It's because you have a purpose, bro. What's the purpose? The Tell purpose. me, what's the purpose? God has a, a better plan for you. What's the plan? He's chosen you. God wants to use you, bro. As what? You, you see all these people here? I do. What's the plan? You you want to know why God, why you're so valuable in the eyes of God? Why, why? Because you've been through what all these people went through. Exactly. And your testimony can cut, can touch them more than my own testimony. So what do you want me to do? Surrender your life to Jesus, bro, because I love you. Is Which is Jesus? what? What do I do? Do you want to give your life to Jesus? I do. You do want to give I your do. life? I do. And, and look, by your own strength, bro, you're not going to be able to defeat sin. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Exactly. But Jesus can help you, bro. Look, God, God empowered me to stop masturbating, to stop watching pornography, to stop being lustful towards women, all that type of stuff. So I want to lead you into prayer of salvation. Do you mind, bro? No, I don't. All right. Come on. Let's Say, go. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I give you glory. I give you glory. For this moment. For this moment. Lord, at this moment, Lord, I ask you. Lord, at this moment, I ask you. For mercy. For mercy. For all the sins that I've committed. For all the sins that I've committed. Tonight, I repent. Tonight, I repent. And I regret. And I regret. All the sins that I've done. All the sins that I've done. Because I know it hurts you. Because I know it hurts you. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I welcome you. I welcome you. Into my life. Into my life. I open my heart. I open my heart. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Destroy. Destroy. The hold of Satan. The hold of Satan. Over my life. Over my life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Save my soul. Save my soul. Save my soul. Save my soul. Rescue me. Rescue me. Show me who I am. Show me who I am. Restore me. Restore me. Back to your image. Back to your image. And to your likeness. And to your likeness. Because tasting of the world. Because tasting of the world. Has only brought bad things to me. Has only brought bad things to me. Jesus. Jesus. Come and rescue me. Come and rescue me. I believe by I faith. Be I believe by faith. That you're the son of God. By the son of God. And that you. And that you. You were crucified. You were crucified. For my sins, for my sins, so that I may be saved. So that I be saved. I receive you. I receive you as my personal, as my personal Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you, bro. Father, in the name of Jesus, every hold of Satan over this man's life, Lord, you have destined him. There is a great purpose in his life. Lord, you have a better future for him, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Lord, you. in the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy every hold of Satan over his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, everything that is not of you in this temple, I cancel it by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I lose his soul wherever Satan has placed his soul. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, I pray for divine protection over him, Lord. 
Lord, this is your child. Lord, do what only you can do, a permanent work in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, may you fill him. May you fill him and bring conviction to his life, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we welcome you into his life. I give you glory. I give you praise. Do what only you can do in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. And I say amen. Amen. Can you pray for me? God bless you, bro. Yes, of course, I pray for you. I've been dealing with for real. Too, you want prayer? You want prayer? I've been dealing with uh, my, my, my ex-boyfriend. He did magic on me. And like, I just feel like he just keep on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. I'm for real. Do you believe in Jesus? I do. I want you to lift up your hands. I'm praying for you. I break every curse, every spell in the name of Jesus. Every evil force of darkness dwelling in this temple, I command you, let her go. I, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, may you show her the truth. Reveal to her who she is, her identity, Lord. You have a greater plan for her to serve you, Jesus, to accept you, Lord, and to run away from the very thing that will lead her to destruction, that will lead her to perish. Lord, I declare heaven is for this soul because I know that as she says yes to you, you got her, Lord. You will cover her, you will protect her, and you will allow no evil thing to happen to her. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we say, Amen. Amen. Man, do, Thank you. Do you believe in Jesus? I do. I, I have a but question. But I ain't gonna lie. Like my faith kind of went down. Like after I was like, God, why did this happen to me? Like, so, so why did He do this to me? But I know He saved me, though. I know God saved me. Like, what God. did God do to you? He didn't do nothing to me, but I know He put me through this. You know, through what? In my spiritual gifts. But I don't like it. Like it's really my fault because like I was being disobedient. Look, do you know do you know Jesus loves you so much and you have a value, you have no idea the type of value that you have? Look, look, don't allow your life to be defined by your past. True. This moment can define your future and even your afterlife. You see all these all, everything that is going around here? It's only to please this. But do you know that you know what the Bible says about people that will live this kind of lifestyle and unfortunately die in this lifestyle? There's a place for them, not because God sends them to hell but because we send ourselves to hell by rejecting God. In this moment, I'm bringing Jesus to you. You know deep in your heart who God has created you to be, and you know that there is a different you inside of your heart. You, are, you have a calling of God over your life. I feel that in my heart to tell you, you have a calling of God in your life. Don't allow the enemy to steal away what God has placed in your hands. God has placed the gift of worship in your hands. God has placed the gift of the word of knowledge, the gift of his word. You have great potential. Don't just throw it away like that because Jesus wants to rescue your soul. And I don't come here just to be, look, because I know people are going to laugh at me. They're going to call me crazy, all this type of stuff. But I know who I saw when I was 17 years old. I saw Jesus. And that's why I'm willing to give my life as a living sacrifice for Jesus. Why? Because he gave his life for me. So I give my life for others. And Jesus is asking you this question. Look, this is serious. He's asking you this question. Do you want to recommit your life to Jesus again? Yeah. God bless you so Thank much. Thank you. You have a good one, okay? Take care. Look, from now on, Jesus. Jesus. Amen? Amen. God bless you. A man that saved my soul, saved my life, and died for me, and his name is Jesus Christ. Look, there's a lot of people out here, you're trying to fill a void that cannot be satisfied or filled without Jesus. I want to let y'all know y'all have a greater purpose, a greater purpose that God has designed for every single, each and one of us. The Word of God says that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil wants to distract people until they take their last breath. Satan is after your soul, but also Jesus is after your soul. And the question that I have for y'all, who will y'all allow to win the battle? Jesus is asking for your yes, a special invitation to anyone that is saying, look, I'm tired, I've tried everything and nothing has worked. And Jesus is saying, come to me, I will give you rest. Jesus wants to take your bondage, your, your baggage. He wants to take those very things that you're dealing with and nail them to the cross. Jesus took your place and he suffered the consequence that you and I deserved. Without Jesus, my friend, we perish. The word declares that Jesus spoke and he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes to the Father except by me. Jesus is the key to heaven. Jesus is the answer to your peace. Jesus is the answer to that infirmity, to that sickness, to that affliction of the enemy. 
I want to let you know that Jesus can rescue you from the imprisonment of this world. Jesus can rescue you from the hold of Satan. Jesus can rescue you from the very thing that's been impossible for you to get rid of. And I want to tell y'all that the coming of Jesus is very soon. Jesus loves you so much. And that's why he sent me so that you will not perish in your sin. Give your life to Jesus tonight. Surrender all to Jesus. And Jesus can assure you salvation and empower you to keep that salvation. Jesus is the only way. I want to let you know there is hope. Jesus loves you so much. And Jesus wants to expose the plan of Satan. Without Jesus, we have no salvation. Without Jesus, we suffer. Without Jesus, there is no hope. Without Jesus, there is no true happiness. My friend, do you believe in Jesus? He loves you, bro. I love you too, man. You know your soul is valuable. And you know the devil is trying to do everything he can to separate you from the truth and, to, and for you to never come to the knowledge of truth. But I want to tell you that Jesus is truth. You see all this? It's false reality. It's Satan trying to distract you and place you in bondage till the day you take your last breath because there is a war in the spirit. The Bible says that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Why? Because that's how he gets your soul. And Jesus, he died on the cross to take your place so that your soul can be saved. And, and you say you know, but my friend, why are you choosing the world? Why are you choosing sin? If God has a better plan for you, Jesus is calling you, bro. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free and make you hope to your family members. You hear me, bro? I love you, bro, but love Jesus, man. Love Jesus, all right? God bless you. Jesus is the only way. I want to let y'all know that the Bible says that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God sent his son so that you can have life and life more abundantly. There is a better way. There is a better truth. There is a better reality. Satan has manipulated many people. Satan is drawing you to do what you're doing today. But Jesus is crying, asking, come to me and I will give you rest. So many people here, you are dealing with rejection. You are dealing with pain. You are dealing with hurts of the past. But Jesus says, I can heal your soul. I can heal your spirit and I can heal you physically. My friends, don't you ever think to yourself that Jesus, that don't you ever think to yourself, where am I going to end up? If I were to die today, where is my afterlife? If I were to die today, what will you tell God when you stand before him in the last day? Jesus is the only way. And I want to tell you that Jesus has so much more than this world can offer you. Jesus can offer you more. A peace that this world cannot offer you. True love that never fails. But Jesus wants you, yes. Jesus wants to see your humility. The word says that if you humble yourself, he is willing to heal your land. But God is looking for people with humility. God is trying to look for people that are willing. My friends, there is more to life. There is more to life. Don't reject Jesus. Don't run away from Jesus. Because look, there is two places where we will end up after we die. That is hell and that is heaven. Where will you spend your eternity? Jesus loves you so much and has a better plan, a better purpose, but you will not find your purpose here. Only Jesus, only Jesus can heal you, can deliver you. Many can be smiling, laughing, but inside you're suffering, being tormented in your dreams. Jesus loves you. Jesus wants to find his home in your temple. Receive Jesus tonight, the only way, the truth, and the life. Jesus cares about your soul. Don't allow Satan to snatch your soul. Don't allow Satan 
to trick you into damnation. I give you the key to the true meaning of life, and that is Jesus Christ. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Flee from your sin and receive Jesus, and He will empower you to keep yourself from sinning. Receive Jesus tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Look, this is what we're called to do, man. Don't fear. Because him who is in you is greater than him who is in the world. Jesus is the only way. Look, you that is watching me, perhaps you're not saved. And you ran into this message. Look, you are blessed and let me tell you why. Because it's the closest message of God that you've heard until the coming of Jesus. If you have not received Jesus, please repent. Receive him as your personal Lord and Savior and God will change your life. And if you're somebody that's been touched by these videos and perhaps you're somebody that decided to give your life to Jesus because of these videos and you've, and you've taken the firm decision to pursue Jesus, to follow Jesus, please comment down below. I would love to talk to you in Jesus' mighty name.